Hi, I'm Karin Gordner, the founder of Art of Motion Training and Movement and developer of Anatomy Trains in Motion. And I am Mumu Morwitzel, head of Art of Motion Australia and certified Anatomy Trains educator. Tom Myers has created a myofascial body map that assists navigating the complexities of the body with clarity. Anatomy Trains in Motion explains and explores Tom's Anatomy Trains concept in relation to body mind movement with interactive lectures and through movement. Traditionally, the Anatomy Trains body map is used in structural body work. At Art of Motion, we utilize it in conscious movement training to be specific in slings myofascial training. So to be clear, Anatomy Trains in Motion is the theoretical basis and a module of the slings myofascial training education. Said differently, to understand the repertoire and movement sequences of slings, understanding Anatomy Trains in Motion is key. The word to remember is understanding. Anatomy Trains in Motion is about understanding the value of the myofascial body map and how to use it, not about copying exercises. And that brings us to the three main building blocks of the Anatomy Trains in Motion course. First, understanding and experiencing functional anatomy. Second, understand structural relationships. And third, relevance for posture, movement and kinesthesia. How can understanding the Anatomy Trains body map assist your teaching? It can give you a different way of assessing postural relationships and movement patterns. Therefore, it can give you a new solution approach and functional training strategies. To make this more tangible, let us ask you a couple of questions. Do you experience hamstring tension at times? Do you have clients who experience hamstring tensions? Have you tried several movement strategies with short-term effects only? Did you ever ask yourself, why, 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 why does it work? <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> In the anatomy trans body map, the hamstrings are part of the superficial backline. The superficial backline is a myofascial continuum, meaning all of its muscles are directly linked with fascia from head to toes. In this sense, the hamstrings have a relationship with all other muscles and fascia of the superficial backline, therefore can be influenced by them for better or for worse. And there is more. In the anatomy trains analogy, the hamstrings are express trains that are supported by local trains, the short head of the biceps femoris and the adductor magnus, which brings us to the relationship between the superficial back line and the deep front line. Lacking ease in the hamstrings can be a local problem. For example, when fascial glide between the two sets of hamstrings is restricted or it can be a superficial backline imbalance. For example, when the suboccipital muscles are tight, it affects the ease in the whole superficial backline, hamstrings included. Or it can be an imbalance between the superficial backline and the deep front line. For example, if the deep front line doesn't support the superficial backline sufficiently, it negatively affects the functionality of the superficial backline, hamstrings included. Understanding it this way, myofascial training strategies can be developed to improve hamstring functionality directly or indirectly. Directly by addressing the local issue, like fascial glide, within the hamstrings or between the two sets of hamstrings. Or indirectly by improving the balance within the myofascial meridian itself, in this case the superficial backline. Another indirect approach is by improving the interaction between myofascial meridians, in our example, the relationship between the superficial backline and the deep front line. In conclusion, we aim to balance understanding and embodiment. We definitely support independent thinking. Therefore, we want you to understand myofascial anatomy and training principles before learning exercises. Don't just copy movement, really understand it. It is so much more satisfying. If you want to understand anatomy trains in relation to movement in depth, anatomy trains in motion is the right course for you.
And if you're an independent thinker who likes to work with innovative movement concepts, Anatomy Trains in Motion is for you. So we look forward to seeing you in one of the courses somewhere in the world. Thank you very much for your time.